Hello, hello everybody, the one Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play 4 Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time we made it here to the Sira Hovering Reefs, and we also started this hero quest called the Wrath of Ashura. And we're at Colony 9, fighting off a bunch of enemies, and now we're getting close to the end of this. And it uh, seems like we're going to have to fight a pretty tough enemy. We're at Colony 11, Westgate 2, that, that was kind of funny, like the sound effect kind of like happened twice, like at the same time. So, the traitors have arrived. Or perhaps I should call you beasts, driven by my hounds. So you're the consul for Colony 11. Ouroboros scum. Have a care for how you address me. With a single order, I could have you creatures crushed this instant. <sighs> it appears you understand. Now stay right there. I will dispose of you later. What? First, I'll deal with you, former Commander Ashira. Step forward. Hey! With all due respect, Madam Consul, you called us traitors just now. If I, never mind them, I'm to be accused of the crime of treason. I'm afraid the Great Consul will have to enlighten us as to the reason. Beasts that we are. You are as impudent as ever. But I will explain to you this one time. You engage in battle without orders. Use deviant tactics in battle. You openly violate military regulations. And your worst crime of all, multiple unforgivable flights towards a consul don't bother trying to deny it all of the soldiers here have witnessed this and as a result we have brought many victories for kevis aren't glory and military success what the consul desires and when did i hand out such orders never forget that all of you are pawns a pawn acts as it is placed on the board. A pawn that acts on its own has no more worth than the mud under my boot. Jerk! Talking to her own soldiers like that. However, well, throwing away a silver colony, no matter how rotten, is hardly the action of a wise woman. At present, bringing Colony 11 under my direct control is the more pressing matter. So, you have no further use for me. I should think a suicidal maniac like you would cherish being destroyed by her countrymen. You, shut your rotten mouth. I see. Then it seems you have been laboring under several misconceptions, <laughs> Madam Consul. How foolish. You'll use this chance about more drivel. Until now, Colony 11 would rush off to battle wherever you waved your hand. But you see, we did it because we wished to. If there was a battle we felt was worthy of us, we soldiers would give our lives fighting it. That's all we ever wanted. My soldiers. And myself. <laughs> what are you driving at? Looking at it another way, nothing else matters to us but that. Not even fighting against people who were our allies until only yesterday. And not even obeying someone who isn't worthy of being our master. Is it dawning on you yet? What? What are you blathering about? The pawns you thought were faithful to you were truly worth less to you than the mud under your boot. Since the very beginning. Cease your confounded blathering! This instant! How dare you! Ugh! Oh is getting on my nerves. If it's all the same to you, I'd really like to drop it now. So, come and kill me, if you can. <laughs> if death is what you seek, I'll be delighted to grant you it. You worthless Wow! She turned into a monster! 
Now I've seen everything. Hmm. Getting scared, are you? Do I look scared? No, you really don't. Just forget it. Ashira, don't underestimate her. She's not like anything else you've fought. Yeah, I'm getting that impression. Well then, Ouroboros. Time for the fight we've all been waiting for. Okay, so we're fighting Mobius R, and it's only level 38, and we're level 45, so... This shouldn't be any problem at all. Of course the, the um, health is going down pretty slow. I don't think I need to do a chain, a chain attack for this fight. Oh crap, Lance is not doing very good. Let's do a chin attack! Let's start with the of Subjugation. Let's do... Map the screen. To overfall. And let's do Hammerhead. Now let's go with the uh, lightning click. Ground beat. Let's do full rush. And let's do my off screen. And Demon Slayer. I did pretty good on that one. How about this? Let's do Brave Assault. Right. Let's do Hammerhead. And let's do Ground Beat. Overkill! We got an Ouroboros order! Death of a thousand cuts! Oh, nice. And, uh, I want to go with... Start with, uh... Overfall? Do you hit the impact? There we 
There we go. Uh, we're still not done yet, I guess. We still have a few more uh, Kevin Walker Elite. I guess we're done. You creatures. You're all pawns. Nothing but pawns. She's still alive. Hmm. What's wrong? Go on. Kill me. Isn't that what you want? You animal. Mm, nope. What? What? Queen's wings, have you lost the snuffing plot? She's Mobius, she's the enemy. <clears throat> yeah, but ending it like this... How should I put it? Oh, I know. It's a waste. Are you insane? In fact, never mind. Forget I asked. There you have it, Madam Consul. You can make a strategic retreat. Do whatever, I don't mind. If you're planning revenge, by all means, pay Colony Eleven another visit. You... you bitch! Or, if you actually, definitely, do want to die, I have no qualms in speeding you along. Oh, you will pay for making me look a fool. You'll pay dearly! <laughs> The Consul. Mobius. She's more dangerous than you know. Oh, I know that. That's why I'm expecting big things from her. Wow. I don't know what to say. This woman is something else. Right. A victory needs fireworks! Make it something big! You came all this way. Um, is she saying what I think she's saying? She does have a point, I suppose. You guys are a silver colony. You sure about this? Didn't you hear my speech? I said nothing else matters. Not to us. So? Got you. Here we go! Colony 11 liberated! There. You're all free now. No need to fight. No need to take life from others. Hmm. I wonder if you can really call that freedom. Hmm? Care to explain? My soldiers and I, we were never fighting for the sake of earning life in the first place. Back up, back up. Surely you had to be, right? I mean, that's the usual setup. True, true. Normally you'd fight to keep the clock fed. Only natural. Otherwise, you're dead. But for us, we live so we can fight. It's how we've lived our lives. Living to fight sounds kind of awful. You must understand, now that you've crossed blades with my troops, they didn't follow the Consul's orders because they were frightened for their lives. We were using the situation we're in to our advantage. Huh? What's the point of that? I should think it's obvious. We hope that someday we can have a proper fight to the death. With mighty warriors like you. I've taken part in all these battles to make that dream real. That's all. I... I see. No, not I see, Senna. Just think about it for a sec. These guys have been killing each other, having their own little murder party. It's crazy. Yep, if you're going to be blunt about it, then that's exactly what it was. That doesn't make it any better. All this living to fight crap. How many lives will you need to take before you're satisfied? Or maybe you want to die, is that it? Yes. I want to die. <sighs> Good try. <laughs> Wait. You ain't serious. Is it that surprising? A soldier like you should... Grow the snuff up. Hmm? Grow up, I said. So you want to fight? You want to die? What the snuff is your problem? 
You come out with all this highfalutin crap, but really, that console was right about you. You're nothing but a bloodthirsty beast, aren't you? Hang on, Uni. You listen. You ain't gonna involve us in your stupid suicidal quest. Just leave us alone, all right? Uni, that was out of... Point Dexter. Wow. I am pretty exhausted after all this. I think I'll take a load off somewhere. Oh, you can all make yourselves at home. Consider it a thank you for joining the fight. Ashira, shouldn't we...? Well then, I'll be off. What you do is up to you. Uni, that was not cool. I want you to apologize later. Please tell me you're not taking her side. Everyone should be free to choose how they want to live their life. Wasn't Ethel the same? Oi, she's nothing like Ethel, got it? Well, that's for sure. But you did kind of go overboard there. Uni, I know how you feel, but could you try? Fine, you win, whatever. I'll talk to her, will that do? Sure. And there we go, we discovered the Colony 11 training pit. And, uh, I guess we need to go up this way now. I assume this means we discovered a new colony. That means more side quests and more, uh, talking to people. That's always how it goes with every time you discover a new, uh, colony. Hey. Hmm? Um, I mean, well, I, I want to talk about before. I'm sorry. I went too far. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm being serious here. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. It's just, you surprised me. And I don't think you went too far. What you said was the unvarnished truth. And that stuff about wanting to die? Even without flame clocks, people die at some point. Be it sooner or later. So, before that happens, I want to leave my mark on this world. Some kind of proof that we were here. In the short time we've been given. For me, that is what I want to achieve by dying. Sorry, I still don't get it. It seriously just sounds like you want to destroy yourself. Dying to fight and fighting to die are different, though they might sound the same. If I can make my death mean something, then I can finally prove my life had value. Live fiercely, die spectacularly. That's how I want the battlefield of my life to be. Well, all that said, Looking from the outside, all people see is the suicidal maniac. And Colony 11 is the last refuge for people like us. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I don't see the joke. You really are insane. <laughs> How many times have you said that today? I suppose. But, you know. Hmm? At least now I get that you're not enough of an idiot to throw yourself off the top of here. And your life really is yours to do with as you see fit. It's not my place to go off on you just because we don't see eye to eye. Besides, the way you fight, fearless and fierce and all that, honestly, it's kind of awesome. Yeah? Think so, eh? What? Revving up for another dig? Uh, no. How do I put it? No one's ever talked that way to me before. I guess I'm happy. Maybe? You ain't embarrassed, are you? <laughs> this is priceless! Yeah? Couldn't you tell I was joking? I really seriously hate you. Oh, that hurts! And here I was taking a liking to you. I mean, from now on, we're all fellow rebels. So, you know. You and I should be friends, Uni. <laughs> and 
now we have this quest completed, the Wrath of Ashura! We have Ashura as a hero added. Oh, something. Colony Eleven's future is a new topic. Uh, she's a class lone exile, role defender, accumulates heavy aggro through attacks, can also counter an attack with it when an ally is in range, has been attacked. Are you tired? We can rest and, a while. Uh, there we go. So I now I guess I need to find a, find a find a campsite so I can uh, so we can discuss that topic. Well, I guess we can open this up here. Could you help me out here? Here we go. <sighs> and it's just a lonely little. Container. What are you hiding, little guy? So there's the canteen there. I'm feeling like I could eat. Uh, Is there anything to snack on? Because there's a there's another garage door thing here that we can, can open. You help me out here? Here we go. There's another container. What are you hiding, little guy? I guess we can talk to Easel here. Just who are you to Ashura? Oh, hello, you, you too. Nice weather we're having today. Still, if I had to uh, answer, I'd go with victims. Very good then, at least I won't have to worry about my prey being snatched from me. You're what now? We're great to friends. Okay. Oh, so that's how they're doing. So I see another yet another container over here. I think it's... How do you get there? Oh, right through here. Oh, and I fell. <coughs> Just great. <sighs> Let's try that again without falling this time. I decided to skip ahead just so you don't have to see watch me walk all the way up back up here after I fell. Let's just sneak a piece. Let's open Let's this up. Careful not to fall again. Okay, oh, there's someone else to talk to. Zorn. So rebels, here you are. It's you. We were on the bridge. If I could have killed them, you then the heights I would have reached. You, yeah, yes. Let's say you could have done that. Forgetting us for a second. That sure is your comrade. We test ourselves against the strong, whoever they may be. That is the colony eleven way. Remember that, Ouroboros. We made some new friends. Okay, so now I still haven't found. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Like. It's kind of weird that there isn't any actual like, quests here. But maybe there's something over here. Like, I haven't discovered the camp, I guess. Um. Is there a camp nearby? I guess I have to go to like an actual like camp nearby. Oh uh, wait, actually, see that there's something more to, else to discover over there. I forgot to. 
So is there actually a way that I can open this? Colony 11 East Gate. I just, I just had to discover that is all because it doesn't seem like you can actually open it. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to go to a different uh, camp so I can. Uh, so I can discuss that topic. I guess we can just go to this camp, I guess. Oh, there is a topic right here. Miss Wing made cuisine much, so tiring to eat rotten fruits and vegetables. So now it's time for make do. What we call it day off, off arrives. Can go to Colony Lambda and stuff. Bellies with stuff that I couldn't read yet. Not fun cooking. Interesting news. So we have a couple of things to discuss, actually. I'm getting peckish. Do we have any snacks? And uh, all oh, right, I guess we never discussed this. So, so let's just do this one first, since we got it first. Tyrkins and Goggles. Hey, so can we talk? Hey, so there were Tyrkins and Goggles fighting in Mac the Wildwood, right? The caravan folks said it been, it's been going on for over a thousand years. That's a long time to keep at, at a war that almost like Ke Kevin's and Agnes, huh? If you look at us from the outside, we just we seem just like them. Unusual, unusual for you to be so maudlin, Lance. Did the family resemblance get, get your, you feeling nostalgic? Shut the snuff up, mate. I'm allowed to have a deep thought just as much as you are, you arse. Jokes aside, just like us, the monsters fight to protect their territory, to keep themselves safe and fed alive. In that sense, there is no large difference between us and them. You weren't wrong in your assessment, Lance. But if they're like us, can they learn to get along someday? You mean like we did? Yeah, exactly. It's hard to tell with certainty, but our existence serves as proof of the possibility. Perhaps even those creatures will find some common ground and attain peace someday, don't you think so, Lance? Wow, never thought I'd live to see the day where, where, where you try to cheer me up. Just trying to turn your mood around. All this deep thinking doesn't suit you. It's an interesting way to make peace, huh? And now we have Nop on Cookie. Everyone, a moment of your time? Say, Manana, I think we all agree that your cooking is delicious and filling, but isn't it a burden for you to always cook? I, and don't get nowhere wrong, it's great. It's just that you got four more, four more months to feed and then the mouths of feed than you were, were in Agnes. No needing for concerning. Cooking his whole life of banana. Food from colony canteens is fine and all, but when it comes to feeding friends, banana what to do myself. Can adjust just menu based on preferences and dietary requirement, requirements. Will not get similar ser service in canteen, that for sure. Banana's cooking is really what lets us face each day, each day with a renewed vigor. Needless to say, eh? <laughs> or so banana fr from actually wouldn't mind eating out at colony canteens from time to time. It can be good to get ideas for recipes, but I sample what the world have to offer, and then we work and have friends sample. Well, well that's fantastic then. Food for our turns. Tums, and for Manana's thought. Two anzels, one stone. That's exactly right. Manana look forward to never stop expanding repertoire as long as li li live. Okay, now it looks like we have a quest here. Colony 11's Let's future. Have a little huddle up. Sure, what will Colony 11 do now? Hmm, why ask me? Try to try not to play dumb. Maybe he's asking because it's your colony? Um, no. Surely it's your colony now, if anything. What, how, just how do you figure that? I figured by how soundly Colony 11 was thrashed into submission by the traitress Ouroboros. They said, say to the victor goes the spoils. Therefore, Colony 11 now belongs to you, Lout. You were also on the winning side, if memory serves. Off the commander herself says it's fine. Who are we to argue? Our list of allies is limited. We're grateful for any co cooperation. Well, I forgot to tell you something. We're a fickle lot in Colony 11. Most of us do as we please, so you should be careful how you handle us. Just because I've taken a liking to you doesn't mean the others will. We can't 
Why can't you just explain our good qualities to them? Get them to help us? What? I should just tell them directly? A bunch of people will cut me down if I show them any weakness. I guess they won't, that won't work. But then, what the spark are we supposed to do? And let me give you a piece of advice. As former commander, in Colony 11, there's a group of elite soldiers called the Three Ravens. Three? You don't remember? Oh, those guys. They were Their names were, let me think. Spirit Zoran, Fell Plume Easel, and Tenacious Clad. They lead, lead the three units that make up Colony 11. You could call them the pillars of the colony. Win those three over, and you're basically got the whole colony. You make it sound simple. How are we meant to win them over exactly? Good question. I simply crushed them until they did, did my bidding. Queen's teeth. No wonder why they want to kill you. But I know that you lock, lock and play a bit smarter than that. For example, you can lead some intel about them. The best way to know an enemy is to become their friend. Whoa! There may be a group of thugs, but its soldiers go there the best of the best. Not as good as me, obviously. I can't see any downside to winning them over. It'll, it'll do wonders for your ally base. How about it? You're not wrong there. We, we, we think it over. Thinking, is it? Don't deliberate over it for too long. What's that supposed to mean? Leave that lot alone for too long and they'll end up in some battle or another. But you better do something about them before they end up being a nuisance for someone else. Is trouble seriously all your colony is good for? Uh, might, might be. Well, I wish you luck. And we got three ravens at war. But uh, we're actually going to continue this quest in the next part, guys. So... If you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like and put a comment about what you thought of the video. And I'll see you guys next time for more of my Let's Play 4, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out!